Okay, so today I wanted to show you how, uh, I wanted to show you uh, some, uh, it's a model that's been out for a while, uh, it's Dreamlight Diffusion, uh, it, it's pretty much infamous, uh, most likely if you're watching this channel you've already known about it, you've already played around with it, but I wanted to show it off uh, just because I like it a lot, I, I really like merging it with other with other models as well, I know a lot of people on Civit AI, just about like everybody, you can probably find a, a very easily uh, when it comes to merging uh, someone that's merged with, with Dreamlight Diffusion. But I did want to show you uh, some of the images I created. Uh, I will be working with uh, Stable Diffusion, of course, uh, Dreamlike Diffusion, and uh, I don't, I don't know. Um, I know I have a Wowifier here that I was, I was messing around with, and also uh, messing around with um, something a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, Apollonius. Um, he's helped me out a lot when it comes to coming up with prompts. He's helped me out a lot when it comes up to. Um, uh, being able to install certain things into my computer. Uh, sometimes we do have uh, complications. He's, he's not perfect, but uh, he is uh, very great, and I am very grateful for that, that, that he has helped me out as much as he has. Um, he, a long time ago, he was showing me this. I played around with it, and then after formatting my computer, I never put it back in again. I'm very happy that uh, he has showed me how to, to, to format it now. I mean, to, to, to install it again. So I will be, uh, it's called Pixel Art. Uh, pixel underscore art and basically uh, to get this going what you're gonna do is you come to this web page uh, right here it'll say uh, pixel art it's in github uh, you go to a uh, file I believe it is hit the pixel art pie and then you come here and you click on on this where it says copy raw contents so now that this is this is my understanding of how to do it he gave me a file, told me to put it in the folder, but this is basically what, what, what he said he did. He came over here, he hit um, copy raw contents, then, one moment, you come into your uh, stable diffusion uh, folder here, you're going to want to scroll down and you're going to want to go into the one where it says uh, scripts. One moment. You're going to want to go into the one that says, let's see here. Oh, there it goes. Scripts. You're going to want to go into scripts. You're going to want to open up. Um, let's take a look so I can see this at the same time. You're going to want to open up a notepad is what he said. So you're going to want to go into your text document. Uh, you're going to want to name, rename it. Now I already have it in here, but you're going to want to rename it pixel underscore art dot pi because it's a, it's a pi, uh, Python uh, file. So you're going to want to rename it that after you, you've, you, you've gone in here and you're just going to paste the whole code. Just like that. You're gonna hit close, uh, save, I guess. Uh, and then that's when you're gonna to wanna to come in here and you're gonna to wanna to rename it and you're gonna to wanna to rename it pixelart.py. So after doing all that, I'm not gonna do it because I already have the, the, the file in there. Uh, I'm just gonna delete that out. Uh, after you do that, you you restart your, your, your web UI and everything should be ready for you to go and you'll be able to uh, generate some uh, pixel art. So we're gonna take a look at this today and we're gonna see One moment. So we're gonna take a look at this today. I'm gonna I'm gonna run through some generations and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you uh, Dreamlike Diffusion with some pixel art. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, and these are some of the images I got. Uh, you can you, you can tell right here. This is this is before it was uh, it was pixelated. Uh, I just messed up my screen. Okay, there you go. Uh, so you can you, you can see it before it was pixelated. Um, I, I like this one a lot. Uh, you can see now now how it how it's pixelated, but I don't like how how that came up right there. But that's just that image. I like this one a lot. Uh, you can always fix the, the, the face. 
and that kind of looks weird on the arm right there. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at this one. Oh, there you go. See how it's pixelated there? So if you're making a video game or something like that, you could always mess with it. Uh, I like that one right there. And it starts over with the with the non-pixelated ones. And then I ran I ran quite a few uh, generations, but it was it was really quick because I'm not upscaling these at all. I'm not high resing these. All I'm doing is is making them normal. Um, I'll show you in a little bit if you want to high res them and you want them still pixelated. See, it looks like those those uh, the eyebrows and the the mouth. That's not pretty good. You could fix that in a little pixelator, or you could just uh, run more variations until you you don't have it. Uh, see, look at this. I like this one a lot. And I like this one. But um, Dream Like Diffusion, definitely a good one, a good one to play around with. Uh, you, you can mess with it a, a lot more than what I did and, and get, uh, get different variations. Uh, let's check out the, the, the Wow of Fire. Uh, one moment, I'm going to get that set up, and then, and then uh, after I have a few generations of that, I'll show you what I did. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to show you a little side-by-side -side of what I came up with. Uh, boop, and then... I'm gonna bring this over here. One moment. Okay, so I want to show you a little bit side by side, but uh, with what I came up with, uh, there's. Uh, I, I like the way this pixelation came out a lot. I like the way her face came out a lot, and all this was on uh, five twelve by seven sixty eight, so it came out very well. I like this. Uh, it's very easy to mess with with pixelation. I did another video on uh, pixel art. Um, but it was using a, 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 a different program. Uh, people might like this one a little bit better because it's all just in stable diffusion. You don't have to go in, you don't have to go out, you don't have to do anything like that. And it, it does make some really good pictures. I do love uh, uh, Dreamlike Diffusion. Uh, it comes out, I like how it did all the pixelation right there too, and on there. Mm, I really like the, I really like this pixel art uh, script. Um, I, I, I love the way uh, Dreamlike Art made her. She looks, she looks very pretty. Uh, I like that face. So uh, now um, I'm going to show you uh, another Laura, same model, different Laura, and I'll be right back. Okay, so in this one, it came out really good. I used uh, two Lauras and an embedding. No, I used three Lauras on this one. I used three Lauras on this one. Uh, I'll show you in a little bit. But you could, if, if, if you're making video games with uh, AI or if you're just making video games and you need, you need concept art or, or whatever, uh, you could definitely use, you use this for, uh, for that. Look, um, I, I really like this right here. You could put, you could put on a plaque for that easily. If I ever get into display, if they ever allow me in, allow me in to sell anything, I would definitely uh, put something probably like this. I probably shouldn't say that because they don't like it and they're never going to let me in. But I do like this. Uh, I would clean that up, though. It looks it looks like there's a spear in his back, but it's going the opposite way. Um, the the sword looks like uh, it's kind of like he's holding it downwards, which was kind of doesn't make sense to me. But it, it, uh, you could you could change all this around. Uh, I do like this right here. Um, I like. I don't know. I like I li I really like the way the pixel art in, in this one came out. So for this one. What I used was, let's take a look. I used Cosmic Land, and I believe I used the I used the Alien Plants on on this one. Uh, this is a really good model. I usually drop down the weights. I always drop down the weights on Laura's. Uh, they usually they, they usually make them really high, and then you have to drop them down really low. Sometimes Laura's come out. Uh, it's all the whatever aesthetic you want. So, but I really like the Cosmic uh, Cosmic Land. That, that's what it was. Like co Cosmic Landscapes. Uh, I don't know. Does this guy have a? Uh, let's see. I didn't look any of it up. Uh, no. Okay. I don't see any any uh, Patreon. I don't see a, a coffee or anything. But uh, you you can take a look through some of them, and it, it, it 
can put it can make some some really good. Oh, I really like that one with the astronaut, the astronaut laying like that. Uh, you you can make some some definitely some some really nice sceneries. He did us have a pyramid one. Uh, strange rock formations, desert, uh, barren planet, uh, lake, mysterious. Uh, not too many people have made stuff on 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 his, but he does he does have some good. Um, I really like this lore a lot. Uh, my friend Apollonius, uh, he's almost like the, the only friend I have on, on the internet. <laughs> so I do have friends in real life. I don't get to see him very often, and I don't get to talk to him very often, but I do have friends in real life. But uh, as far as friends on the internet and as far as uh, friends I talk to every day, Apollonius would, uh, would be one of them because he's always on my Discord. Uh, very good friend. He's the one that showed me this. Uh, he loved it a lot. I started playing with it. I love it a lot. Uh, very good, very good uh, lore right here. Uh, cosmic landscapes. Uh, if, if if you like downloading stuff at your own risk, because I'm not telling you to download it, I'm not I'm not I'm not taking the blame for anything. Uh, this is a very good one to check out. Uh, okay, so another one that Apollonia showed me about was dark fantasy, and I usually have to drop down the lore on this one a lot as well. But I, I like this one a lot. It 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 uh, look, look they came out with a lot more pictures. Look. Oh. I didn't want to do that. Okay, but you can definitely do a lot with this with with with, with both of these models together. They, were they both the same person? I don't think they're both the same person. No, both two different people. Uh, but this is this is a really good model, really good model to play with, or a really good uh, lore to play with. I really like these little little spectral uh, creatures. Uh, so, and then I I used. Epinos, uh, if, if your if your your stuff is getting too bright or or anything like that, I like to use this in there. Uh, I did use this. Uh, you could see that looks like the rock. Is that the rock? I think that's the rock. And then uh, you can you can look around. I like this chick with the owl on her head. Uh, you can, oh look at the way the eyeball came out right there. That's a really good one. Um, look at that. Look at that. I like that one. So, the, yeah, this is this is a really good model to use. Um, was that the? Oh, I thought that one was like the Dreamlight one. Uh, uh, Dreamlight uh, model. Uh, made by Epicorian. Um, I know she 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 has a lot of other stuff as well. Uh, does she have a? I don't see a coffee. I don't see a a, a, a Patreon model or a Patreon account. Um, but if you, if you check out her, 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 um, if you check out the Epi, uh, noise offset, uh, you can check out here. We'll, we'll check it out together. How about that? Uh, nope. Don't see no coffee or anything. Uh, it's only on Laura's one moment, but she does have other models. She has, uh, let's see, she has checkpoints. She has models, uh, textual inversions, uh, ooh, look, shadow of a Tomb Raider landscapes. So I'm gonna have to check that out. Maybe put some stuff in there. Uh, she's very pretty. Uh, oh, I loved this one. I'll show you on later. Uh, let's see. But she definitely has a, a, a lot of good stuff to mess with. Uh, arcane style. I know uh, Nitrosaki did uh, a, 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 uh, an arcane style one, and it came out uh, gorgeous. It came out really good. So let's check. Did check to see if he had a yeah i did okay and that okay so definitely check out the the lauras definitely check out the models um i had a lot of fun with it i had a lot of fun playing around uh definitely mess with the 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 the, the weights here um like i have that on 0 0.8 i have that on 0 0.4 0 0.3 uh, i tried putting the 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 whole thing into the description at youtube and for some reason, YouTube tells me that uh, I can't do it. Uh, even when I have more than enough room to put it in there, it still tells me not to put it. So uh, if anybody asks, I'll throw it up in the comment section or something like that. No one's really watching the videos right now anyway, so I don't think it really matters. But um, for, for, for what it is, this is uh, the, 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 these, are, the, these are really good models, uh, really good Lauras. So we had uh, today, we had Dreamlike Diffusion. We had uh, the Wowazizer. Uh, we had uh, Cosmic Landscapes, uh, Dark Fantasy, we had, uh, oh, I showed hers off a little bit. Oh, look, she has a muscular Bob Ross there. Um, and we have uh, Epi Noise Offset. 
Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you have a great day.